Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna. Welcome to Breland's Books. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Delirium Trilogy. I finished the third one this month, so I'm just going to give a brief review of this series as a whole. I'm going to start off by just giving a quick review of each, of the, of each book, spoiler free, and then I'll get more into it. So... The first one, Delirium. I really enjoyed this book. I'm pretty sure I gave it four stars. I think all of these were four stars for me, which I would, if I didn't, then that's what they should be on Goodreads. Um, this book is, you know, a girl falling in love, about a girl falling in love for the first time in a society where she's not, a, where love is illegal and not just all kinds of love is illegal. And I really enjoyed it and I think it's really good. And there's this whole part of her like becoming someone who loves and how she kind of already was and it's so good and then pandemonium i also gave five five four stars but i think that this is my least favorite out of the three and i would only say that because it feels isolated from the rest um but it's still really important and this this first one is just told through lena's perspective straight through this one is told in alternating then and now chapters. So there's a then, because this one, uh, it's told in the then from past and then now, which is happening now. And I'll tell, I'll get more into my opinions on the then and now chapters once I go into the spoiler part. But spoiler free review, really good, but a little more isolated from the other two in my opinion. The third one is Requiem, and I don't, I can't decide if this was my favorite or if Delirium was. But this really just ties it all together. This is told through Lena's perspective and through Hannah's perspective, who is her best friend from the first book. And I loved Hannah, and in the second book, she's not there, so I was really missing her. So I was glad that she was back and was a part again, and I'm hot. Uh, but I loved the third one, and I liked how all of them had different chapter ways of telling. And I think this... Delirium was one of the books that I did on my top five first sentences video, which I will put the link down below, but I said that this was one of the top five first sentences in my library, and then I th would put this in my top five endings because the ending is just so perfect and s just so, yes, I loved the ending. Lauren Oliver did such a fantastic job. That's my just really brief spoiler free review. Now I'm going to get into more of the relationships and all that and spoilers. So if you haven't read the books yet, that's my advice. Completely read it. I 100% love this trilogy. Check it out. The first one is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Super good. Now we're going to get into spoilers. So if you haven't read it yet, goodbye. See you next time. So, this trilogy has so much. In this one, the ending with her and uh, Alex trying to escape and Alex not getting out and we think he's dead is heartbreaking. I cried when he died. Died, if you've read all of them. Um, and I just, it was so sad to me. But I also thought it made a lot of sense because with love comes loss. And it's not like, it's just a kind of a fact of life. Like, you're going to lose people. But if you can't feel anything for them, then it doesn't affect you. So, like, yeah, love sucks sometimes when it ends. But it's important. It's important that Lena was exposed to losing love as well as to gain... Because she knows how much she can gain from love, but losing Alex will expose her to how much she can lose, which is what we discover in Pandemonium. We see her, she's in the wilds, she's living with them. I loved the then and now and how it's like then when she's adjusting to the wilds and how it correlates to now with um, being in the city and being like a secret agent type thing and with Julian. And I loved Julian's character, um, but... She's also grieving for Alex, so it's very complicated. And I think it's unique from certain love triangles where it's not like she was with this guy and then they were in love until she met this guy and then they were in love. It's like she was in love with Alex completely, wholly, and she loved him and then she lost him and she had to figure out how to live her life again. And then her and Julian were exposed to some really hard situations. Like they were literally kidnapped and stuck in a room together 
non-stop for a long time like stuff you're gonna have feelings for someone whether they're good or bad theirs just happened to be more of a romantic type of feeling which was fine she was grieving someone and she was f like he was helping her live her life again and it's so important to show that there can be love after loss and that there can be more than one person that you fall in love with in your life and I think that's important and I really enjoyed this, but I do feel like it was slightly more isolated from the other two books just because we don't really, we don't know what's happening in her hometown of Portland, Maine. The third one, Requiem. Alex is alive! What? Also, her mother is a factor. Um, I think the, in most of, I think Alex coming back was handled very well because he's different. And she has to come to grips with that and with her feeling for Julian and it's all very complicated and she doesn't handle it well because she doesn't know how to handle this because no one knows how to handle someone coming back from the dead. But I think she did a lovely job of staying, like she, in this book, she acknowledges more than ever the downsides of love. And she says things like maybe the zombies are right and blah, blah, blah. But ultimately she knows that like love is the most, is so important that we can't just erase it and delete and just delete it from our lives. And I, the ending to this is just so perfect because it's not about them winning, it's about them enacting change. And I think that's really important. And I, her talking to her mom and realizing how different her mom is, is, is so important. But also Alex is so afraid in this book and I love seeing this like darker side of him who isn't just like, oh, whatever, blah, 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 I love you. Seeing Hannah's chat story was so important to me because I loved Hannah and I wanted to know what happened to her and she's been cured but we kind of get to see how maybe the cure is a fake and just bad because she still has you know feelings she's not a complete zombie and her husband is a monster and he and her journey is so important to just wow and like she's so, seeing that she is different but is still Hannah was important to me and that part when they like started when she they saw each other again was important to me and just but the I cannot praise the ending of this book more than like it's impossible it was spectacular um I'm I'm gonna read the ending no I'm not I'm just gonna the ending so it has like the narrative and then there's this last section right here and the first line and the last line both say take down the walls because they're literally they're taking down a wall that was built around portland maine to keep out invalids and they're tearing it down and i and just talking about metaphorically taking down all of the walls that we've built around our hearts and around our minds and it's so good and just that last like two or three paragraphs was so impactful for me and yes Wow, Lauren, go Lauren Oliver. I, huge fan of this series, huge fan of Lena and all the characters. I'm glad that she ended up uh, with Alex. I did, I like the idea of her ending with her first love, but in, there's, com because they are completely different people from who they were when they met in the labs that day. Like they are completely different people, but they still love each other. And I think that that's as close to like soulmates as I'm ever going to believe in is people who can love who they were and who can be apart and can be completely different and still love who they became, who they became. Cause they aren't like Lena does really come to love who Alex is now. And it's not just about who he was then. So just all of the praise for Lauren Oliver's trilogy right here. There is some novellas that go with them that I really would like to read. Casually throws one of the books. It's okay. It's okay. It happened. But yeah, so really, really enjoyed these. Woohoo! Do I have other things to say? I think I'm done. Uh, like, com comment your opinion. I want to know your opinions on the book. On these books down below if you've read this book these books let me know I want to talk to you guys about them because I love talking to people about books if you don't like these books I still want to know just talk to me talk to me what did I what 
have an awesome weekend. I hope you have, what? Have an awesome weekend. Read a good book. Mwah!